Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Now today we're gonna to be talking about props, cosplay, what it's like collecting those things, and my personal experience five years on after really diving deep into this hobby. So let's go. So today we're just going to have a little chat about prop and costume collecting. Uh, I've got five points for you which we're going to discuss um, and things that I wish I perhaps knew a little earlier or just things that I've learned sort of five years on. I've been seriously collecting for about five years now and these are things I've only just managed to form into the ideas of what I want out of my collection. So let's have a look. Now number one seems fairly simple which is collect what you're interested in but I want to add that this may change over time. Now for me and what I collect, what I mainly collect are from three franchises and that is Star Wars, Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. And those are my three favorite franchises. Yes, I do love other things. Like I love the Avatar series, for example, the, the Airbending series, that's fantastic. I love other TV series, I like video games. Uh, but for me, what I like to collect are things from those main three franchises. And I have dabbled in collecting things from video games. Like you may remember last year, I did a video review of the Ghost of Tsushima mask that was available, it was a limited edition mask and I bought that. But that only stayed with me for about a month. And then after that, I kind of decided it's not what I wanted to collect and I moved it on and a friend actually bought that off me and it's now in his collection. Hopefully he's enjoying it in his collection, but I just found it didn't fit with what I wanted to collect. Obviously the biggest thing I collect is things from Star Wars, but if you're a regular viewer, you may have noticed that this changes over the time and the props, I usually have my props behind me and you can see all the Star Wars stuff is over that side. But if you look back at the early videos, I have pieces which you can't see. That's because I don't own them anymore. I've sold them, they've, they've gone to different homes and Recently for me, I've figured out that what I love about Star Wars is my experience of Star Wars. And my experience is the prequels. I grew up on the prequels. I love the prequels. Um, so that is the aesthetic and thing that I connect with with that franchise. And that's what I want to collect. So I've narrowed down my Star Wars experience to the prequels and the animated series. And those are the things I want to collect from. Of course, did I know this when starting out? No, I didn't. And I've collected lots of different things. Now there are a few props from the original trilogy that I will have in my collection and I'll get onto that with my next point but it took me a long time to realize that that is where my passion within that franchise lies and is the things that I wanted to collect. That does bring me on to point number two which is what do you want to get out of your collection? Is it uh, quantity? Do you want the most lightsabers you could possibly own no matter what they are? Do you want the most ones you want to own? Do you want one thing that is the absolute best thing that you could possibly buy? Do you collect Funko Pops? Do you get as many as you can? Do you just collect Marvel? Do you just collect DC? I've never got Funko Pops by the way, I don't get it. But I would never criticize you if that's what you want. For me, for my collection, what I like to collect is I go for quality and it's usually the best thing I can buy or afford uh, as it were. <laughs> Um, in for the prop that I want and that relates to the experience that I want out of the prop I want the prop to feel like it is a real prop so I like buying things made out of metal if it's a lightsaber for example like this one I don't want it to be a 3d print I don't want it to be a resin cast I want it to be metal if you look at this it it's heavy as hell it feels fantastic this is a very accurate replica of um, Obi-Wan's episode 4 lightsaber and with this one got a crystal chamber inside like that which is fantastic it just adds to the authenticity for me and this is the feeling that I want from the prop and why I collect things like this and like I said certain objects are just so amazing that I have in my collection like this one like my real sterling E11 Stormtrooper blaster those things aren't going anywhere even though I want to focus on collecting things from the prequels and animated shows those things are just too good for me to not have them in my collection. For some people, it's enough just to own a facsimile of that object, whether that be a 3D print or a resin cast or whatever. But for me, I like having the, the experience of going, this could be from that world. It feels like it's from that world and it just fulfills that desire for me for this object. 
Hmm. <coughs> now my third point for prop collecting is perhaps a bit controversial, but you may thank me for it later. And this pertains to buying things for your collection. And that is to wait three months before buying an object for your collection. And I'm talking about big purchases here where you're gonna spend a couple of hundred pounds or dollars on a helmet or a lightsaber or anything big. Like I'm not talking sort of 10, 20 pounds or dollars, you know, those, those are fine. But when it pertains to something big like this, think on it for three months because we've all done it where you see something, you impulse buy it, you go, yes, I want that, that's really cool. You might have the cash just ready, you buy it and then so often you get buyer's remorse after buying it and it buyer's remorse sucks and like i said earlier i only go to tsushima mask for about a month before sending on that's because i didn't think about what i actually enjoy buying and how that would fit into my collection i also started buying some things for an aragon cosplay i was going to use anduril here and uh, I bought the Noble Collection Crown of Aragorn. I had some big metal pauldrons that you could buy for Aragorn. And I was all for going for that. And then lost interest, like completely lost interest. And yeah, if I had waited and considered what I wanted to buy before that, you save yourself a lot of time and money. And luckily those things are resellable usually. So I just managed to pass them on to people who enjoy having them in their collection. But for me, yeah, I would say wait before you make big purchases because you might regret it later. That brings me on to point four, which is that it's okay to lose interest in a franchise or project. Now the biggest one of this for me is the Lord of the Rings elf soldier. I started this costume a few years ago and I've gone in and out of building parts for it and uh, I just lose interest and it doesn't hold my attention and honestly, it's probably not something I'm going to finish. I enjoy having the helmet and the the new United Cutlery uh, Elven Sword. I enjoy having those on display, but as for the costume, I just don't think I'm gonna finish it. Unless the the, the TV series comes out and there's, they're in that and I get super invigorated to finish the project, I just don't think I'm gonna finish it. And there are other things that have my interest right now that I wanna build. And that also pertains to franchises. It's okay to grow out of a franchise too. But again, like I said before, I'd wait if you were gonna sell something or chuck something out that you've collected for for a while or for years and you've owned it for years, just give it a just give it a think before you you chuck it in the bin or or sell it on to someone else because you may come back to it. I find myself cycling through what's my favorite franchise at a particular time. Most of the time it'll be Star Wars, but then I'll get into Harry Potter again and then I'll get into Lord of the Rings. And when I was into Lord of the Rings, that's when I bought the United Cutlery things there. And, you know, I don't know how long they'll stay in my collection. I might figure that I don't have space for them or that I just don't want to own them anymore. And that's okay. You can pass them on, you can sell them on, and that's usually fine. So yeah, it's okay to lose interest in something, but that will usually translate into an interest and passion in something else. So my last point, point five, pertains to keeping that passion and how you would keep that passion and motivation going through a project. And that is to join groups. So you can join groups on Facebook. That's what I mainly use Facebook for. I hardly ever talk to friends on Facebook, you know, here and there, but most of the time I'm engaging in prop and costume groups. And there will almost definitely be a group that's into the same thing that you are. And if there isn't, just make one and then anyone who else who's interested in that will see that you're interested in that and come and uh, engage with you you can chat make friends uh, share progress on builds it's just very important to to network and socialize within the community that you're interested in that being said also go on things like instagram and follow people engage with them don't just follow people and you can like photos you know everyone likes a like on their photo but Engage in the comments, actually say something, encourage someone, uh, you know, if, if you like something, tell them, um, just don't be creepy, uh, to, but engage with people and you might find you end up getting friendly with certain people, you might get on and you can build a friendship and you end up talking about different topics and you would never have met them in real life, they might be, they'll live 5,000 miles away from you, but you get to engage on a topic that you both enjoy. And also places like the RPF, I always recommend people to go and check that out. The Replica Prop Forum. 
and things like that. And same with Star Wars. There are different 501st forums for different uh, detachments. So people will all talk about, if you love clones like I do, I'm on that group. And everything on that group is to do with clones, building clones, uh, building their weapons, selling stuff, people selling armor, oh, helmets, discussing episodes, what things look like. You know, it, if you're interested in a specific subject like that, find a forum group and same and Facebook groups and just you'll find your passion is ignited by everyone else's and you know it's just way more invigorating than just sitting alone um contemplating your life choices <laughs> not that you shouldn't contemplate life choices but you know engaging with other people will be so much more beneficial than being on your own so that's just my experience of collecting for about five years and being involved in uh, the, the whole community of props and prop collecting and cosplay for about five years and um yeah it's it's taken me far too long to realize where my passion of star wars is um personally i know there'll be a few of you who are older than me who will be original trilogy and like going prequels are you mad and there's a few of you that'll be younger than me that will be like kylo ren is the best <laughs> you know uh so and that's on you you collect what you what you enjoy for me uh it's it's always the prequels and uh yeah it's always been eight when phantom menace came out and uh about 40 about 13 14 when revenge of the sith came out so that is my sweet spot for when i was in the prime age to really grab and latch onto films and it's actually my favorite time for when films were made early 2000s you get star wars harry potter lord of the rings pirates of the caribbean the matrix all these amazing films came out in that time that's why it's the best time for me um but then again you know that's just my own personal experience and this whole thing is about your own experience and how you want to experience that fandom how you want to engage with what you enjoy now if any of you have also been nosing into what i have in the background i am expanding on my prequel helmet collection and yesterday I received this in the mail. This is of course a phase one helmet from episode two, Attack of the Clones, Star Wars. Um, and uh, in the next video, we'll be putting this together and finishing it so that it's wearable. Do look forward to that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little, uh, I wanna say rant, it's not a rant, just discussion. We've been discussing, haven't we? Uh, this discussion on collecting props and costumes. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, stay safe, take care. Bye-bye.